Namaskar. I am going to present a slideshow on measures of central tendency and arithmetic mean. <clears throat> the measures of central tendency uh, it is useful. It is useful for secondary school level and the for the students other than those having other than statistics. Firstly, I like to say that the collected data, these are not suitable for draw conclusions about the mass from which it has been taken. Because, and that so, measures of single value of or average, uh, that is important, that is required, which is known as the measures of central tendency. This measure condenses a huge number of data into a single values, which represent the whole data. Generally, distribution is categorized by two parameters, that is uh, measures of central tendency or measures of location and the measures of dispersion or the scale parameters. We shall consider uh, co condense our discussion on measures of central values only. The main import characteristics of the measures of central tendency are it should be rigidly defined, it should be easy to understand and easy to calculate, it should be based upon all observations, it should be amenable for further mathematical treatment and it should not be affected by the extreme value. There is uh, some other important characteris characteristics also uh, that is not included here. The following are the best measures, best following are the not best measures of central tendency. These are arithmetic mean, geometric mean, harmonic mean, median, and mode. Arithmetic mean, it is the simply mean or a set of observation is that sum of all observations divided by total number of observations and this is in figures and arithmetic mean sum of all observations divided by total number of observations there is a summation x divided by n where n is the number of observations and this n summation fx when the data is given in the frequency level then it will be summation fx by capital n where capital n is the number of total frequency uh, this will be discussed other part will not be discussed here the advantage of arithmetic mean is that it is easy to understand and easy to calculate. It is based upon all of values. It is rigidly defined and it is not based on the position of the series. And it is also under, easy to understand the arithmetic average. Even some of the details of the data are not given. As there are some disadvantages also about the arithmetic mean. And because uh, these are, it is affected by extreme values it cannot be calculated for open end classes it cannot be located graphically and it has some upward bias to remove this some of the advantages are disadvantages are removed in median but we shall not discuss uh, the measure, other measures this measure of median here and i like to conclude my conclude my session here uh, so thank you thank you to all